Hey YouTube, it's your girl Ms. Fashion Plug and I am back with another YouTube review and this is a bag review of course and it is a Fenty bag. Um, this bag I purchased from a Instagram seller of course, one of my top three favorites. So when I'm done, I will head over to my Instagram page, post a picture of the bag and tag the seller so you can know where to get it from if you're interested. So let's go ahead and get into it. Fenty. The box did come really, really banged up, as you can see. Um, and I think it had to do with packaging. This box is pretty big. And I'm assuming that they didn't have an appropriate size box to fit this box in. And so they just kind of like wrapped it with plastic i guess plastic and that brown annoying tape that's hard as hell to get off and so yeah it got pretty damaged however the bag is in good condition so no biggie there i mean it's a pretty tough box too so i can still keep the stuff keep the bag in the box and not really have to worry about anything really all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the bag this is the tag that came with it um with this bag no papers came with it so it's literally just the bag the dust bag and that one tag the dust bag is pretty good pretty sturdy um thick cotton material drawstring this bag is big guys so my thought process on getting this bag is that I needed a big fall bag. Um, and I seen this on the Instagram seller's website and I was like, hmm, I can get down with this. And I think what immediately caught my eye was the strap. And I haven't even taken the plastic off yet. But yeah, that what was what immediately caught my eye. Um, it smells like leather when you open it up. Um, it looks really good in quality. The stitching is all really good. I've already opened this bag <laughs> and I actually already filmed a review on this, which I hated. So I was like, no, I'm gonna redo it. So yeah, that's the back side of it, the front side. So that's why the strap is on. All right, here's the bag. It's all leather. The back side. On these gold things, it says Fenty Paris or Rome, one of them. It says it on all of them. It says it on this one, that one, that one, and that one. And you can see the stitch down the middle, which is good. And then it has the little feet. Does the feet say anything? Uh, it has the Fenty logo, the S, that's what it has on there. The construction of this bag is really good, guys. The hardware is really good. The gold looks good. This says Fenty. Unsnap it like that, of course. Here is another strap. Um, it has a date code, I think. Or is that just a Fenty tag? Well, there's some type of tag in there. Right there, it says Fenty and some other stuff that I can't see. <laughs> not that it's not legible. Not that it's not legible. It's just, I can't see. All right, so this is a fuchsia, a fuchsia pocket color. Um, as you can see, this bag is pretty deep. 
and the pocket goes all it opens all the way down it goes all the way to the bottom and then the rest of the inside interior is red let's see so the material inside is leather as well and the stitching going all the way around the bag looks really good um if you want to be able to open this wider you can unhook this which i don't think that i would do um and once you unhook it and try to hook it back up it's pretty hard to connect back together so um, i had a hard enough time connecting it together i won't be unconnecting it to make it wider um, as I mentioned, this bag is heavy, but is as big as I need it to be because I put a lot of stuff in my bags. I towed a lot of stuff around, literally. Um, but once I actually do put my stuff in there, I think the bag might be a little bit too heavy for me. Um, because on a daily basis, when I go to work and I'm toting my bags, I also have my gym bag and my lunch bag. And then I also tote a purse. Um, so with this being already heavy with nothing in it, it's not like heavy, heavy, like you're lifting weights, but I mean, it's, it's really well made. Um, and the material is kind of heavy. It's probably about maybe two or three pounds. So, uh, it's probably about 2.5 pounds, possibly. And then once I put all my stuff in there, it could be pretty heavy. I do like big bags, but this might be a little bit too bulky for going to work um, and taking my gym bag and my lunch bag. So I don't know if I will actually keep this bag and use it. Maybe like on a Saturday or Sunday, a family outing or something like that might work. But for my daily use, it's not going to work for me because only because I take too much stuff to work i am like the bag lady i tote too much stuff around but um overall i do think this is a good bag it's well made as i mentioned it did not come with papers it's just a dust bag the box and that tag um smells like real leather i don't see any visible damage or imperfections um i have not compared it to the real fenty bag yet but I think this is a really, really good replica. And um, if you're not feeling this one, still go to my Instagram page and check out the seller because the seller has a whole bunch of different bags to choose from and they have sales from time to time. And it's a really good seller to deal with. If you want honest opinions and um, you're looking for sale, reasonable prices, you're looking for a top quality, definitely check out this seller again one of my top three favorite sellers so yeah this is my new fenty bag it again is pretty big for me you can do crossbody though and so if i was to wear this bag i'd be doing it as a crossbody because my shoulders are like kind of short <laughs> So straps tend to fall off of my shoulders, which is, yeah, they're like, my shoulders are short and they go down. They're not like up. <laughs> so, um, yes, you can do it as a crossbody. And I think that crossbody will work for me best. It is going to stick out a little bit, but not any more than any other bag that you do crossbody that's um, big in size. This bag can fit a lot of stuff in there, okay? A lot. But yeah, overall, I really do like this bag. I was thinking about rehoming it, but once I put it on crossbody, I liked how it really looked crossbody on me. So, I don't know. The jury's out on this one, so um yeah and the thing about rehoming it i don't know what type of box i would put it in either like they couldn't figure it out i don't know if i can i don't because i tend to save some of the boxes that the bags come in not the designer boxes but the actual shipping boxes and i don't have a box that would fit this in 
So I don't know if I was to rehome it, how, I mean, I could figure it out. I could take it to the UPS store or the FedEx store and they can, I'm sure they could safely wrap it, package it for me at an extra cost. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll figure it out. But um, yeah, that's it. The bag is good. The seller is good. Head over to my Instagram page to check out information on the seller. And guys, I do want to apologize. I think it's been about three weeks since I have um, posted a video. I do have more bags and shoes to review. Um, however, I just got really busy. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, I have three kids, I have a job, and I'm in school. And so sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed and stressed out and I can't do it all. And the vid the first video that I filmed of this bag, I was super tired and I just didn't like the way it looked, the quality, the stuff I was saying. I was like, nah, I can't put this out there. Um, so yeah, I really thought it was important for me to re-record and give you a good quality video. The other thing is, I know you guys are tired of seeing this background and I apologize, but this is the only space where I have a little bit of privacy. This is my bedroom and I can lock the door. My kids may bang on the door. You may hear them outside of the door, but if it's locked, but they can't get in. Um, so this is the safest place for me to film. Um, today, I was considering doing it in the living room just because it's open, it's brighter, and, you know, it give you a different scenery to see around me. However, now we have Disney Plus, which my kids love, and the big TV is in the living room. So right now, they're in the living room watching Disney Plus. And I did not want to tear them away from that because if I did, they'd be bugging me about what I'm doing so um yes in future videos I am going to try my hardest to film somewhere else in the house so you're not just looking at my dresser and whatever mess I have around me um but yeah just keep on sticking around sticking there with me I will try to be more consistent I know I have been in the past um, it's getting a little bit harder now, but I am going to do my very best to continue to shoot out videos, if not every week, every two weeks um, at the very least. And what else was I? Oh, this shirt, Black by Popular Demand. I ordered this shirt from Amazon. I love it. And if you like it, go ahead and check it out on Amazon. And I got new glasses. I got these from um, Warby Parker. It is a online, well, they have brick and mortar stores too, but they don't have them everywhere. Um, it's an online glasses um, boutique or whatever, a glasses store. Um, you upload your prescription and they you choose like five different frames that you want to try on. They send them to your house. You try them on. You pick one. You send all of them back and they send you like the box and the prepaid shipping label, whatever, to send it back to them. And um, they fill your prescription and they send you the glasses. Uh, I think the highest, well, the glasses, the frames usually run around $95, I think um which includes the frame however they do have extra add-ons like scratch resistant it might be twenty dollars and um the blue light tint whatever additional things that you usually or that you want to get with your glasses it may be an additional cost however for me still worth it because when i go to the regular eye doctor and i get glasses uh, my insurance only covers 125 dollars towards the frame the lenses are free and I usually pick out frames that are name brand and like $400. So I still have to pay about three something to actually get the frames and I lose stuff a lot, unfortunately. So I was like, I'm no longer spending that much money on frames. I will get a cheap pair. I will switch them out as often as I want. And if I lose them, I'll just order another pair. So yeah, I've ordered from them and I've ordered from um, iBuyDirect.com. I buy direct is just as good. They're cheaper frames. They're lightweight frames. And I like that because it doesn't put the mu that much pressure on your the bridge of your nose. So you know how you see some people that wear glasses all the time. I wear glasses all the time for the most part. And you see like that indentured 
right there on their nose i hate that and so with the warby parker and the i buy direct the glasses are light and they do not leave that imprint on your nose that's not cute because from time to time i do take my glasses off and i don't want that print on my nose so if you've had that problem you know someone that had that problem just go ahead and refer them to buying glasses online because they're lighter they're cheaper and if you lose them you can easily replace them all you have to do is um, give them your prescription the one thing that i do want to mention that some people might not know if you're a first time or going online and buying your glasses when you go to the eye doctor to get your prescription they usually just write down the left prescription or the left prescription and the right prescription but they don't write down the distance between the center of your eyes like from here to here they don't do that so when you go to the eye doctor if you plan on ordering glasses online ask them to measure from the center of your eye you know i don't even know how to say it but they need to measure this the inside of your eyes and they should know what you're talking about um if you don't do that what you can do is the website provides like a little ruler that you can print off and you go in the bathroom and you just hold it and you measure it from the center there's instructions online on how to do it however it's much easier to just get your doctor to do it and as much it's more accurate to get your doctor to do it so i'm just letting you know up front so you know to make sure you get that anyways thanks for tuning in i know i rant a lot and i can't help it i love talking to you guys so thanks for listening please like and subscribe um and then i should be able to post another video next week if not the week after but tune in keep tuning in set the um hit the um the notification bell and so when i do upload videos you'll get information on that if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask go over to my instagram page shoot me a dm i still have to figure out how to turn on the alerts so people that have been sending me dms don't think that i'm ignoring you or that i'm just taking my sweet old time responding um i don't get the notifications right away so it might be a day or two lag of me responding to you or you can respond you can ask a question in the comments and i will respond to you that way and i love you guys thanks for tuning in and i'll talk to you later bye